So Halloween came up a while ago, and I was thinking a lot about my cousin, Randall. Randall is a year younger than me, but is in a wheelchair. He was born with paralysis in his legs. I want you to think about all the fun in trick-or-treating. Randall can't really trick-or-treat a lot because of his wheelchair. It's difficult to go to every house door when there isn't going to be something to lead him to every single door. Randall can't really run or jump, skip or play tag, and can't use swings. But usually, but usually with us, he plays tag anyways and trick-or-treats anyways. Hi, my name is Sofia Gutierrez, and I'm going to be talking to you about how your disability or mental disorder doesn't define you. But today I'll mainly be talking about some people that I know that are in wheelchairs. Raise your hand if you know somebody with a disability. Okay. Raise your hand if you know somebody that's in a wheelchair. I want you to think about all the different places that you go to. Parks, schools, grocery stores, playgrounds. How many of those have wheelchair accessible areas? All of them do, right? Well, some of these places don't. Some of these places are areas that Randall would love to go to, but can't because there would be nowhere for him to go. An example of this is in my neighborhood, we have a staircase that goes that goes to a that goes to a sidewalk to lead to the house door. And beside it, there's this dirt ramp that is covered in mainly tree roots and a couple bushes. When I, sometimes when Randall comes over, we bring him around to the side of the ramp and bring him up while trying to avoid different tree roots and bushes. Then we bring him inside. And we can't really move, remove these things because we live in an apartment system. But even with these many different obstacles that Randall might have, he is still one of the funniest people that I know and is probably the best cousin I could ever have. Another person that is like this and doesn't care about their disability and doesn't let, the, doesn't let it get in their way is somebody by the name of Tammy Duckworth. Tammy Duckworth was the first Congress member to be in a wheelchair. She was also the first of about three other things, including being the first Congress member that was born in Thailand. See, she has many different things about her that are great, but, and she doesn't let her disability get in the way of those things. But a lot of people forget to realize that she is, that she has different things that are great about her. And another thing that, would hel that helps Randall a lot is the ADA, or the American Disability Act. The American Disability Act is a law against discrimination of the disabled. And this will help Randall when he's older, because when, when, people, when people see him when he's older, people won't look at him like he has some sort of contagious disease and is out in public. But at Randall School, nobody discriminates each other for what they can or cannot do. They have a sport that they call handball and for people that are in wheelchairs, and it is very complicated and confusing at first. But I'll explain it to you now. One team starts off with the ball, trying to get in the other team's goal. And you can either hold the ball in one hand and maneuver with the other, or put the ball in your lap and maneuver with both hands. If you get the ball smacked out of your hand or lap and the ball stops on the ground, it goes over to the other team so that they can give it a shot. But if your teammate or a person on the other team picks up the ball before it actually stops on the ground, then the, then it, the game goes on from there. But finally, I'm going to be talking about some, back to the idea about places that don't have wheelchair accessible areas. A lot of people don't realize that these different places that people in wheelchairs would love to go to, kind of, but can't, kind of discourage them from doing the things that they love. Because they start to feel like that nobody real, realizes or acknowledges that they actually exist. Or that they don't acknowledge what they can or cannot do. And it's not really how it's not really the disabled people that are the tragedy in this world. It's really how our society tr treats them. Thank you.